Hi guys, here's another video about putting the trigger and springs back in on the JCB and the Power Pro uh, head trimmer. Okay, um, I've split the unit in half, and uh, this is the power trigger which I'm assembling first. Might be easier to put it in second, but you can see I've just got to fit this trigger, it's got two lugs on the side of it and uh, just see that that's just going to put in that location there which I've just arrowed after I move this uh, throttle cable out of the way and I've got it into the hole there the trigger, power trigger okay that's in place so I'll just put the safety uh, trigger down which fits on the top put the spring in there and it just this trigger just looks over where I've highlighted it there and um, over the lug so it's just a matter of let me just get it back out put tucking this spring just underneath the, this section of the lug my thumbs in the way you'll see in a second and just tuck it in like so and I'll just give you a little close up of what that looks like you see the little spring tucked under there and that's what it looks like when it's in situ and then you're just going to make sure the throttle, throttle cable fits over this, let me just tighten it up a bit just give you a close up of the angles there that's what it's looked like when it's in situ and little, there's a little notch underneath the trigger little V, that's for the um, throttle cable you see there it just pushes up against it and that's how it closes completely so with that you get a basic idea and this is what the unit looks like with the motor and the fuel tank and switch in place just give you an overview of it this is what it'll look like when you pull it apart so with that thanks for watching once again and please subscribe